All right, everybody, welcome to the Golden Knights uh, press conference. No, <laughs> post-game coverage again. Um, here we go, the Knights lost. They lost 3-2, uh, to two, and uh, what a game of hockey it was. Uh, I will get to my final takeaways and thoughts for now. Stars of the game to me, of course, um, Robin Leonard, he did a good job today. Um, but William Carlson did a pretty good job. I'm pretty happy with him. Uh, and um, let's see. who uh, And um, Braden McNabb. I was trying to think of his name. Braden McNabb had a good goal today. Uh, those are my two stars of the game tonight. But let's continue this. The Knights are now, are now 24-9 because they lost yesterday, uh, last night. And two... Well, whenever this post, so uh, they lost on uh, thir- Wednesday night and last night, thir- you know, Thursday. So they're four, uh, 24, 9, and 2. They lost in overtime last night. Um, and they're now tied at 50 points with Colorado. They didn't get that um, Colorado Avalanche, who we just played. They didn't get that point, the extra point, because, of course, they're losers. They lost. Um But they are in first place with Colorado in the Western Conference Division. Robin Leonard now at 6-1-2. So I have thoughts on Robin Leonard too and all of that, including the fact that he went to actually went past overtime to shootout. Let's go to the first period, though, at 9 minutes and 29. Let's see. Let me make sure I have that correct. Uh, 9 minutes and 29 seconds. William Carlson scores a goal, and he was uh, assisted by Alec Martinez and Shea Theodore. One zero nights, one zero, and Shea Theodore had a pretty good night himself. At seven minutes and fifty-seven seconds, <sighs> Kirill Kaprizov scores a goal on the Golden Knights with the help of. Jordan Greenway and Jonas Bordeen tying it one to one. Tied it. Second period, scoreless. But man, did the Golden Knights play some great hockey there? I am still angry. I'm gonna get all to, to all of that. But the Knights had ample opportunity. But uh, Cam Talbot, Cam Talbot came to play. He is amazing. I've said it before. He is a goalie that means business just like flurry does but boy did he mean business tonight so he stopped every single shot pretty much of the second period for the golden knights now we have the third period one minute and 39 seconds Braden mcnab scores his first goal in 67 games all the way in from november of 2019 against the san jose sharks uh amazing just incredible Finally stopped that 67 game drought. Just, man, I felt for him there. Um, and he did that with the help of William Carrier and Tomas Nosek, who scored a goal yesterday. That made it 2-1 to one night. But then they couldn't help themselves. They had to do this. They gave a 10-minute penalty to Riley Smith for hooking Matt Dumba. Or Dumba? Dumba? Dumba. Uh, at and during that power play f- at power play at five minutes and thirty one seconds, Jared Spurgeon scores on that power play goal. Scores that power play goal with the help of again Kirill Kaprizov, rookie, and Kevin Fiala. So and he ends the night as well. Just teaser, making it two to two. We then go to overtime. Uh, nobody is able to score. There is a penalty given to... Um, uh, I don't remember who it was. It wasn't, it wasn't Fiala, but uh, he basically got called for uh, goaltender interference because instead of cutting across the ice, he barreled towards Robin Leonard, knocking him over. And Robin Leonard got up pretty slowly. Again, he's coming off of six weeks of a concussion So uh, because of a concussion. So, you know, the trainers had to go out and make sure he was okay. Now we go to the shootout. Um, so we got a shootout attempt by Jonathan Marcheseau, but it was saved by Cam Talbot. Then we had another shootout. We had a shootout attempt by Matt Zuccarello. Zuccarello made uh, uh, towards Leonard, but he was it was saved by Robin Leonard. And then another shoot, shootout attempt was made on Cam Talbot by Shea Theodore, but Cam Talbot uh, saved that one too. 
Then, Kevin Fiala scores the shootout attempt goal, a shootout goal on Robin Leonard, and that made it 1-0 Minnesota on, and in terms of the shootout. And then, the uh, there was uh, Alex Tuck had a shootout attempt, but he completely misses it, missed it. The um, Colorado Avalanche, or not the Colorado Avalanche, who are we playing today? <laughs> I am losing my mind. Minnesota, um, they they win it. And this is where I was screaming like, No! 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 Fuck! Right? Like, I was not happy. I slammed my phone down and the Uber Eats driver, I'm sure, uh, was the delivery person who was dropping off my things. Just saying. Just saying. Um, You know... It, she was probably like, what the hell is going on there? L- listen, here's my thoughts. Robin Leonard, absolutely fantastic tonight. I know I've been way too critical in, in the beginning, but I have to say it this way. Robin Leonard was not at fault tonight. Robin Leonard, sure, he might have allowed two goals. But I don't know that I can put the second one past Leonard at all. Because I don't think the Knights were very good at defending at all. Um, and then and when they when they scored on that power play... The Knights had the advantage in some times. But, so, hold on. Actually, no. Um, they did. But the Knights couldn't defend? They could not defend themselves at all? In all seriousness? That's incredible! That's incredible. I don't know how much more I can say. Now, Pete DeBoer, Pete DeBoer puts a he shortens the bench, number one. He only has 16 skaters. And he only has 10 forwards, which instead of the normal 12, which he did yesterday. The Knights have now lost two in a row. And he comes over and does this again. What the hell? I mean, come on. You lose two in a row. Are you going to do it again, Pete DeBoer? Watch Pete DeBoer come and... Now look, Chandler Stevenson is going to come back. He's on a three-game suspension. Uh, seventy thousand. He must forfeit seventy thousand dollars. But uh, I forget who uh, had only five thousand. So again, this is just the NHL still not liking the Knights, even though the Knights are one of the best expansion teams ever. Anyway, um, he'll be back on the ice. But here's my my thing here. Um, I can't believe that. Sir Pete DeBoer here would endanger the team by doing the same half ass strategy, old strategy that he did yesterday, and that was a losing strategy. Is nobody, nobody in the front office or managing going, listen, do not do that again. Because if it were me, he'd be out tonight. I would, I mean, they got rid of Gallant. Let's get Pete DeBoer out. I'm just saying. But back to Robin Leonard. <laughs> I know you're like, you went on a rant. I couldn't blame him for that second goal. And I also can't blame him. You could blame him for the shootout. Oh, he has a bad shootout record. Sure, he's 0-2. We're not going to front on that. He's 0-2. But if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I don't know that I can blame him. And I'll tell you why I can't blame him. When you've got Marcia so Theodore and Tuck, Marshall Soul, Tuck and Theodore, and you, those are three top goal scorers, and you can't find the net! Yeah, no, uh-uh. Don't, no, one, no one should blame Robin Leonard here. Sure, that goal went past him. It went to the post, and behind him, he didn't, he, I don't think he could have defended that, maybe. But really? You can't score. Three of those players cannot score. I get it. Cam Talbot is one of the most skilled goalies in the in the in the hockey league, probably in the world. I, I know, but you really can't do. You really can't, really. Um, now Robin Leonard played some great hockey. I mean, he ha- threw his legs over his head, went on his back, flipped back up, picked up the puck, and just saved it. I mean that. I mean, come on. That guy was doing incredibly well. Um, now look, there was some great hockey. Braden McNabb looked in it, confident, just incredible. 
Everybody had good shots. I mean, Cam Talbot, like I said, came to play. But either way, they mess up the shootout, and you can't blame Robin Leonard this time uh, as much as people like to.